I am personally on my phone all day every day, so it's very important to me that my environment on my phone is both inspiring and highly functional since I'm looking at it all day. So today I'm going to show you guys my ultimate iPhone setup for productivity and creativity. I spent all morning on this. Hey everyone and welcome to it. Welcome to my What's on my iPhone 15 Pro. I have spent literally all day customizing this phone to be perfect. Like she's a masterpiece right now with the perfect setup for productivity and for me to do my creative work on my phone. And I have some really cool new apps to show you guys. So I'm excited. First, starting off with the specs of my phone, I have the iPhone 15 Pro in natural titanium with 256 gigabytes of storage. I do wish I had more storage. Unfortunately, I am literally out right now. So we'll see if this even and lets me record my screen recordings. But I have been loving the natural titanium color. It's gorgeous. And then accessories wise, I just have this clear case on it right now from Amazon. I stuck a Polaroid from my husband and I's rehearsal dinner when we got married. So that's what I'm rocking right now. I don't have many cases for this phone. If you guys have any cute recommendations, let me know. That's what it looks like right now. I can't believe I forgot my coffee. What am I doing? I do have one other case that I've been sporting lately, which is this one. It's from Target, and I think it's actually like an iPhone 12 maybe case. It's like an older version, but it still fits this one. So I will link both these cases below. Those are really the only iPhone accessories that I've been using lately. I've had phone charms on my phone for a little bit there, but I haven't had one of those on in a while just because they're kind of bulky and get in the way sometimes. But yeah, we're gonna cozy up and tell you a little bit about what is on my phone today. So let's go ahead and get right on into it. <laughs> All right, so starting off here is my lock screen and what it looks like right now. It is just a little vision board of something I made for the new year. So I made one for my MacBook and then my phone. So it has a bunch of my goals and things I want to accomplish this year and just pretty aesthetic photos, to be honest. And at the top, I have the time and the date. Sorry, I have to keep moving it so it doesn't shut off my screen recording. And then I have a little thing that goes to my reminders here so I can do my to-do list. Okay, well, it went off. But I, then I also have the weather widget because I like to see what the weather is every morning when I wake up and see like the degrees that it is outside. <laughs> well, welcome to my home screen. Here it is in all of her beauty. I am obsessed. I spent all morning on this. I just think it is so cute and so aesthetic. So this is what it looks like. We have a calendar widget at the top from Widget Smith. So I just made that and it's actually the theme I used is like a preset one on Widget Smith called Powder. So the colors just worked perfectly with everything that I have and I just love it. Then next I have all of my most used apps that I use at least once a day probably. These app icons I actually drew and designed myself. So the ones that you see are all hand drawn on my iPad and I'm actually selling this pack on my website now. So if you guys want to twin with me, you can download those off my website. I have this cute little rainbow and then a vine and the bow and the plant and it's just adorable. It also comes with all the different aesthetic photos that you see that I took myself so you can just make it all work the same and look gorgeous on your phone too. And then it also comes with the home screen that you see there. That's just like the cute little drawing. So it all matches perfectly so that you can put those widgets and then it looks like they're like transparent like that. So I literally am obsessed. And then I have two widgets down here. One is a photo and that widget is also included in the pack that I've been talking about. There's like two different versions of different colors you can choose from. And then I have a clock widget on here too. If you go into the app, we all know love widget smith you can look under time and they have these cute cute little flip clocks i am a sucker for a good flip clock so i had to have that on my home screen it's so cute so this is the setup that really just works for me pretty design layout wise because i have all my apps that i use the most so it's very functional speaking of those apps so we have facebook tiktok my camera roll YouTube, so that just goes straight to the YouTube app where you can see my channel and I obviously, I watch a lot of YouTube, so I go on there often. Podcasts, I have like a few podcasts that I listen a lot to, What We Said, I listen to Fernanda's podcast, I love that one, Caitlin Nolan's. So those are like my top three podcasts I would say that I listen to. Pinterest, oh my gosh, I love Pinterest. If you guys wanna follow me over there, I just feel like I have the cutest, most aesthetic pins all the time. So cute. Here's all my winter ones, I guess, right now. Then Safari, obviously, and then music. It'll go to my Apple Music so I can listen. I've been in a dilemma right now because I love Apple Music, obviously big Apple girl, but my husband and I have been talking about maybe making the switch to Spotify just because it's so cool. I love seeing all of the different playlists that people make that are so niche. I'll show you guys some of the ones that I've liked. Old Fashioned, Slow Dancing with Your Soulmate, Fourth Wing. So there's a bunch that are like 
related to the books that I read, which I just love to put on whenever I'm reading and the background is noise. Vienna Waits For You. There's just so many fun ones and I love seeing Spotify wrapped. And then also I love, now you can like type in your day list and it'll come up with like what I normally listen to on Wednesdays afternoon based off of like my previous listening history, which is so cool. And it comes with like a specific vibe. I tried it, but I've only listened to Christmas playlists on here in the last like year because we don't use Spotify. So it was like all Christmas music. So we have been thinking of making the switch, but we don't know because it's kind of expensive, especially since we're not students anymore, we wouldn't get a student discount. So I don't know, let me know your guys' thoughts if it's completely worth it, if you have it. Cause right now we are on my family's plan. So my mom still pays for it technically. <laughs> um, so I don't know. Okay, and then at the very bottom, I don't change those icons because then those notifications wouldn't be there and those are like my main apps that I communicate with people through and I need the notifications. So we have iMessage, so I can, you know, text people, phone, and then Instagram, which I take it back. I actually, I don't have my notifications on on Instagram. And that's actually something I've done since high school. I just don't have my notifications on for Instagram or TikTok, like any social media like that, because it is so distracting. And if I got a notification that was like, you got a DM, I feel like I would immediately stop whatever I'm doing to open up the app. And then I would get stuck on the app for longer than I ever was supposed to be, especially if I wasn't even on my phone in the first place before I got the notification. So. That is one of my biggest tips is to have your social media's notifications off. At least if you have like a social media problem, I still get on it a ton, but at least I get on it a lot less than I think I would if I was getting notifications every time I got a message or if somebody liked my photo, something like that. But I love Instagram. It's kind of been one of my favorite platforms lately. I just love being creative with it. I post on my stories all the time. So if you guys don't follow me on Instagram, you need to, because look at this latte art today. I was so happy with that. And then and I also, they have this thing where you can make a channel and you guys can join it and I could just talk to you. So I sent a little preview of my phone screen to you guys. It's just kind of fun. I spill a lot of tea in there. Quickly before we go to the next page, if we swipe to this, part, which is just like a random screen. I never know what to do with this screen. I just downloaded a bunch of photos off my Pinterest and made them all widgets and just made it a big widget screen, almost just like a nice little inspirational side to my phone. So just some cute photos. And then if we scroll down, it gets gets down to business. So I have our Simply Safe camera so we can easily get on there and look. There's what the living room looks like right now. Usually you can see the dogs, don't know where they're at. They're probably laying in the sun. <laughs> then I have my vacuum so I can control our little robot vacuum from here so I can just start it to go. That's Katniss Everclean if you guys haven't met her yet. And then I have this gas buddy thing so it'll go and tell you what the gas prices are around you and which gas station is the lowest right now. So that was kind of fun to look at. It's very interesting. All right, next page. This is kind of like my productivity command center work and life-wise. So at the top I have my to-do list, which is set up as a reminder. I've showed this like in every what's on my iPhone video that I do. So I'm not going to give you guys a full tutorial on how to do it, but you just set it up as a reminder list and title it to-do list and then you can go on here. So right now we are filming my what's on my iPhone. So I'll check that off. I love to add little emojis on the end of everything. I feel like it just kind of spices things up. So those just sit there and I can actually turn them off or check them off from my home screen too. I don't have to go into the app, which is kind of nice. Next, I have a 2024 content Notion board. So I love the Notion app. It's one of my favorite apps ever. And I kind of have a little page on here that I command everything in my social media wise. So I have a list of my YouTube video ideas, a list of TikTok ideas, Ideas, Instagram, photo shoot ideas, and then business ideas. And then I also have it linked to a content calendar. And I obviously, if you guys are new here, you wouldn't know, but I post Sundays and Thursdays at 1 p.m. So you can see I have almost all my videos planned out on here that I'm gonna be posting. So what's on my 15, iPhone 15 Pro? So fun. And so sometimes I'll even go on here and like start to plan out what I'm gonna say or like an outline of everything. So that's really fun. I have a ton of things on my Notion, but that's what I use the most. And it's really nice that it's just a little board right there so I can easily, cause I'll be like in the shower thinking and a video idea will come across my mind. So I'll jump out and just click on this and type in an idea. And then I, so I love having app covers, but I can't, I just can't do it for every app. It's too time consuming one and I hate it when the notifications don't show up on the little shortcuts. So I have them in little folders here and I just have this little rainbow emoji titling them all to make them kind of cute. So this one just has my basic app settings, clock, FaceTime, 
music and Starbucks. I haven't, honestly, I've been making coffee at home. I try not to spend money on coffee anymore, but I did use that a lot because I did get Starbucks a lot last year. So that's there. The next one just has our banking apps. So just to be able to get to our credit cards and pay those off, all that good stuff. And this one is kind of like my work folder. So we have Canva, which if you guys don't use Canva, you need to because I love it. You can do so many things. There's little Instagram posts, Instagram stories, logos, flyers. I feel like it's a good starting point if you're just getting into designing things. Some of them, obviously they're not super creative and most people can tell when you're using a Canva template, but I think it's just so fun. I use it a lot to plan out my office and like anywhere I'm trying to decorate. So here I planned out if I wanted these bookshelves or to try and do floating bookshelves and what rug trying to come up with like a whole mood board of everything. So I love using it for that. I make little graphics to show you guys like what I want to buy and outfit ideas, stuff like that that I put on my like to know it. It's just a really fun app, highly recommend. Then I have YouTube Studio, which is what I can use to look at all my analytics and respond to comments and stuff on my channel. Oh my gosh, filming it right now. Say cheese. <laughs> it's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, there's just like a little dashboard here so it goes over the videos and comments and somebody's saying uh, they think I'm pregnant because I don't drink coffee, which is a lie. And I'm always tired. <laughs> Not for you guys. So that's a really fun app. Nice to be able to access things from my phone. Fonto I use to put text on my thumbnails. So here is, it's a mess honestly. And I don't, I can't really even explain the process to you guys. It's too confusing, but that's how I do it. <laughs> preview, I love preview. This is so fun. This is where if you care about having an aesthetic Instagram feed, you can plan it out. So I have all the pictures and you can drag them around and see. So this is what my feed looks like right now. But let's say I wanted to post a picture of my coffee I would see how that looks and I'm like hey, I don't really love it because the wood from the picture of the coffee and then the wood from this one with my desk not really working out in my favor so I could see okay well what if I archive this take that away oh it does look good then or I can just say okay I'm not gonna post this yet Maybe if I put another picture in front of it or behind it to kind of split that all up. Yeah, it's a whole process, but it is, it's a really helpful app that helps you plan everything out. That's how I planned out my feed. Lightroom, this is how I edit my Instagram photos. So I do sell presets, they're on my Etsy right now. I'm working on shifting all my stuff from Etsy to my website, but I'm posting this tomorrow and I doubt I'm gonna get it all switched over by tomorrow. So they're probably still on my Etsy if you would like to purchase. And if you're late watching this video and you can't find them on my Etsy, then they're probably on my website, juliakchris.com. I just love them. So that's like the before of the photo and there's the after, it's so pretty. This one's the In Bloom preset. I have been using this one for a long time lately. So so that one's for sale if you guys want. YouTube app and then my mail. I check my mail like it's social media just because it's so fun. I think as an effort to stop scrolling so much on social media, I will randomly refresh my mail. So <laughs> I don't know why I spend so much time on my email, but I do. At the bottom, this widget is adorable. One of my favorites. It's just like a little iPod and you click it and it actually brings you to music. Whoa! How did I not know that it like actually works as an iPod. I'm like shuffling through the songs right now. <gasps> that is so awesome. So I can click on it and it brings me to whatever song it was. I like to keep it on like a cute aesthetic song. So I always choose Folklore, the album, just cause it's a pretty album cover. I love that widget. It's from the Miko app and you just search for it eventually. I've shown that in a few videos too. Okay, we're going to go into the apps that I've used, but first I wanted to show you guys my focus modes, which I've been obsessed with lately. They're so cool. So basically you go up into your notification center and you can have all these different focuses. So right now my new dot disturb is on cause I don't want my text showing up as I'm filming this video, but I'm gonna show you, look, I'm gonna turn on filming and editing, it's on, and then it changes my wallpaper to a cute motivating wallpaper and the lock screen is also very motivating so I've changed them to be a little different. You could see if that's what that one looks like and it also doesn't let anybody contact me other than Keegan. You can set it up however you want. So I have one for filming and editing right now. I have one for cleaning. So this one, it'll go to a nice pair of clean sheets. You can see it right there, gorgeous. <laughs> and then I have a reading one and I love this one. It's so fun. There's a cute little thing that says 
pretty girls read books as the background that it changes to on the home screen and then it also goes to a different log screen that says I live in two worlds one is a world of books by Rory Gilmore from Gilmore Girls and it's so cute and on that one I changed the log screen and I changed the widgets at the top to be a control panel for the lights in our house so I can like easily access the lights in our bedroom and like dim them or change the color according to the mood of the book battery percentage on my phone and my devices because my phone is always dying whenever I'm reading for some reason and also a quick link to Spotify so that I can go and turn on one of the reading playlists so it's really fun how you can customize focuses to be perfect for certain moods or things that you're doing and while it's on it also you can see like the little star up there that's for the reading because it's a star but like filming and editing we'll leave that one on it's gonna have a cute little MacBook at the top so I just love it it's so fun next up we'll talk about the apps and I have a few new ones that I wanted to show you guys recently added there's this one called choose that my friend Lauren talked a lot about and so I had to download it basically it's like a shopping app but it I think it changes the different shops each day so you could see a bunch of fun little local businesses that you could choose from look how cool I haven't found anything that I like enough to buy yet, but it is a fun idea. Gift List is a Christmas app and you go, obviously it's not Christmas anymore, but you can go and add in whoever you need to buy gifts for and then you write down your ideas for them. And then you can write down the prices and track. It's a bunch of things. So then at the very bottom, it shows you how much you spent total. So $715 on Christmas for friends and family last year. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I do really like that app just to make sure that I'm staying mindful of a budget while we're buying for Christmas to not go overboard next is kernel and this app is so cool one of my friends Nikki S. Molina who is also a youtuber here is his thing if you guys have ever seen him um, was we were talking and he was like yeah do you know like I have an app and he sends me a link I'm like you have an app that is awesome so basically you guys it's all about movies and shows and you can make lists of movies that you like want to watch or for certain moods so I'm gonna make a list date night there's some suggestions. You can add the movies that you want to watch or even just like you, you saw like your top 10 and upcoming movies you're excited about to these little lists. And it's so fun because I feel like whenever, if somebody recommends a movie to me, I almost always forget the title unless they text it to me because I always forget to write it down too. But this way you can easily add it to your list and then you can click on watch and it'll show you what platforms you can watch it on, which is awesome. You can rent or buy it. You can look at the cast and if you liked the actor, you can see the other things that they're in and look at those and add those to your list. Okay, there's one I want to watch. To date night. So fun. So I love that app. It's called Kernel. If you guys want to download it and support other YouTubers, I just think it's so cool. I don't know anybody who has an app, so awesome. Libby is a library app so that you can access your local libraries, books, and stuff like that. So I wanted to get it and send books to my Kindle because you can get free books from your library, obviously, but Keegan and I's house isn't in the city limits, so we don't qualify for a library card. So it's a bummer. Very big bummer. There's the Locket app, which I've been wanting to try I need to get Keegan to get, get the app but it's basically where you can set up a widget on your home screen and send little pictures back and forth with your friends each day and messages I think so I'm excited to get that started up but I haven't yet then table rock this is just an app for my management team it's kind of like a little home base that keeps track of sponsorships and deadlines and messages between everybody so yeah really fun social media here's all my social media be real I haven't been on that in months I grew tired of it and I shut the notifications off discord is like a app that my husband Keegan uses for gaming and I'll sometimes hop on there and text him through it for fun or join if I'm ever playing games with him. Facebook, FaceTime, Lemonade, LinkedIn, we know these. I still get very confused every time I see X because it used to be Twitter, now it's X. I, it confuses me. So that is the social media. Next we have photo and video. I have a lot of fun different creativity apps in here. So um, let's see what's some of the interesting CapCut, I've been using to edit all of my TikToks lately and I love it. It's so fun that they have these templates that you can go with. If you see a, like a trend, you can add in your own pictures to fit these little trends like. Wow. And it automatically like, edits it with the clips that you chose to 
that style you just saw. So I just think it's really nice. But I honestly just use it to edit my everyday, just any TikToks that I'm doing really. It's really nice and easy. They have a lot of features on there for it being a free app. So highly recommend CapCut. Dispo is a fun little app that you can take disposable photos. My friends and I used to use that a lot in college and it was really fun, but it seems like I lost all of mine, which would be very sad because that would mean I lost all my college memories. <laughs> JI, these two apps are for my drone, so ignore those. Framio, I have both sides of the family have these digital photo frames that you can send photos to. Keegan and I just got one for his family for Christmas and it's so fun. So you can just send any photos to the frame in their living room and it'll just pop up. So this is what that is. It's really fun. I highly recommend those. They're such a nice gift for anybody. Um, lens buddy. This app is nice if you ever are taking photos and you don't have a remote and you don't have anybody else there to help you. You can set it for one second intervals, tw taking 25 photos. I'll just have it take five. Um, so then I would set my phone up and push a go. And it just took them. So it would take them all just like that and you don't have to have your phone. And then you can see them all. Ah, uh, how fun. Oh my gosh, I forgot to tell you guys. Before I filmed this, I went through and deleted so many apps off my phone because I just realized I've had so many that were just taking up space that I literally haven't touched in years. So this is your sign to take a little reset through your phone and look through everything because you probably have some on there that you don't even use anymore. Tezza, I started paying for the subscription because I love the video filters that you can put on your videos, so. How fun, you can see the before and the after. They also just have a bunch of just effects in general that I feel like are worth it. Like the little timestamps, CHS. I just think it's so cute. It's a really fun editing app. I don't edit my photos in there, but I do use the video filters. Productivity and finance folder. We have banking, banking, Google Docs, Dropbox. Good notes. I have my good notes synced to set up between all of my iCloud devices. So whenever I write something on my iPad, I can access it on my phone. So if I go to the grocery and I meal planned for the week and I forgot something, I can easily get on it from my phone and look at it. I don't have to have my iPad with me. So highly recommend having this on your phone. I have way too many planners on here that I don't use anymore, but yes. Love that. Mail, all that stuff. So we'll move on to entertainment. This is a lot of streaming apps. I have these, I don't know if I even have subscriptions to anymore, but I still have the app. So probably need to think through that. Shazam, the app where like, if you're out in public listening and you hear a song and you want to know the name of it, you push and hold and it'll come up with a song name. Dubhub, Ticketmaster, Seek, throwback to the Taylor Swift concert when I had the tickets in there. Yeah, not much going on in there. Same with probably with utilities. I do have a leveler because when I was hanging so much. It was helpful to have this. <laughs> okay, home. I am so curious. I really wanna get into using the Apple Home Kit more. Right now we just have two lamps set up on it and they're like our bedroom side bedroom tables, but they'll show up and say no response for like two minutes and then they finally show up. So I don't know if we have something on it wrong, but this is basically our home. I feel like it'd be so cool to have more things set up and I definitely wanna get into that. But yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, yep, just a few things like our bills, like our power and phone bills. So nothing too interesting over here. Travel app, the ones that I feel like are kind of cool choice hotels. If you just look up wherever you want to go, it's gonna search like all the hotels that exist, not just a certain chain, which is kind of nice because I like to just see which one's the cheapest and go with that sometimes. So I like that, that you can just search between like everything that exists. Delta, Gas Buddy, like I told you, Hertz, Rental Cars, that's the brand I always choose to go through. Then I do have Hilton and Hyatt and Marriott, just like the apps that if I do stay there, I get the app so I can download the digital key. Buses. Okay the other. I'm sure this is going to be an interesting. Oh my gosh, Ember, this is my favorite. You guys know that I love my Ember mug. It's like an electric coffee mug and you can, okay, it's all, it's in the house, so it's not going to work, but you can control the temperature of your coffee and, and it stays hot for, I think like two hours or whatever degree you set it at, which is just amazing. Vacuum app. This is how I link things on this thing. It's called like to know it. So I can link my sweater, my MacBook case type of thing like that and people can easily access it. I like it just because it keeps things live. It's not like a, I put on my Instagram story and then you guys can't find the link again. It's like, it's just always there. See, I've made a whopping 45 bucks. <laughs> I honestly don't make much from this, but it's really fun. I like being organized and having everything like that. Um, Pet desk for our vet appointments. 
Pinterest, these plant apps that you can see the life of your plants. Simply Save for Alarm, oh my gosh. And uh, one of my most used apps, the Box Fan app. <laughs> I cannot sleep without a box fan. Ever since I was young, that's like what we were sleep trained with, I guess. So anytime I'm traveling and I can't pack a box fan in my suitcase, I turn on this app, full volume, full blast it, plug it, my phone in all night, and I'm able to sleep. Sometimes my friends make fun of me, but hey, I do what you gotta do sometimes. Shopping apps, all these. Uh, I don't think any of these really stand out to me. The shop app is kind of fun. If you register your stuff right, it'll show you the tracking and everything for all the packages that you've ordered. So I do think it's really fun to look at what's in transit, but unfortunately I don't have any packages on the way. Uh, I feel like that's about it in there. Health and wellness, drink water aquarium. I don't use this, I really need to, but you can keep track of how much water you've had. So if I have a Stanley or whatever, oh, I just lied. Oops. <laughs> It'll obviously have a little aquarium of how much water I drink during the day. So that would be nice. I probably should start using that more. Fitness app, don't use. Hatch sleep, that's for an alarm clock that I haven't gotten set up. So need to work on that. Um, yeah, you guys can see everything. Information and reading, audible and audiobooks for audiobooks. Goodreads, I don't make my Goodreads public, but here we are. It's just a nice way that I can keep track of what books I've read, when I've read them, what I rated them. So I do have it, but I don't make it public. Like I'm friends with like two people and those are my closest friends. <laughs> Storygraph I've heard is something kind of similar, just different obviously, but I haven't gotten logged in or started it because I don't want to have to do two. Food and drink. I'll say, yeah, I don't really use these much. Other than Starbucks, we have successfully gotten rid of our DoorDash addiction, which I'm so happy about because we were spending way too much money on DoorDash. It was stupid. So we don't use that much anymore. These are mostly just rewards apps or if like we were ordering ahead or online for Taco Bell for pickup, that's what I use all these for. And Yelp, of course. If I go into a sit down restaurant, I always get on Yelp and see what some of the dishes look like and whatever catches my eye, I order. Creativity, oh, Cricut app, Storylux. This one is kind of fun. It has little templates for Instagram stories. So make it all cute, adorable. I like it whenever I just want some extra little Pizzazz to my story or to my post. Business, okay, sell on Etsy, Table Rock again. <laughs> Zoom, okay. That covers all of the apps. I'm happy we got through all those. <laughs> Hope you guys found some new apps to help out your life, make you more productive or more creative. My phone battery is currently at 61%. If you made it this far in the video, comment below what percentage your phone is at. I'm curious. Again, I'm gonna have everything linked below, the icon packs, the phone cases, all that good stuff. So check that out in the description. And that is it going to be it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one.